Hey, what's up? Eric here. Today I wanted to teach you a tutorial that one guy asked me in the comments of I think it was a tutorial or a video, I don't remember. But he asked it if I can show how I make my build my build up. So I took this track that is lying on my, my last track I have here. I had to delete some some of the scene, for example the baseline so because well I think this is a build up tutorial and I did use it in the build up and bounce on things like the pads here, the arc here, blocks and the leads because I can use ACO with my with a screen recorder and everything go bad so yeah so first of all I'm gonna play the track, the build up of the track and a bit of the drop so you can hear how it is So yeah, this is Lion, you can download it for free in my soundcloud if you like it. So let's start. First of all, I put here, well this, is, this isn't right, this was just trying some things now. This is the mainly the most important thing of a build up. When the snare hits like this, like in a loop, you know that you are now in the build up and the drop is coming. So you have to, you need really nice snares, and I like really tight ones. For example, this is a, a really tight snare, and and then just take over with a with a more crispy snare to cover the highs. I'm not gonna show you show you anything of the of the mix. This is not really important for now, and yeah. What I did here is just a really simple loop. Okay, and I recommend, well, this is nice, but sometimes I, I try to make things like, for example, this, this, for example, like this, to make it more interesting. Okay. This is really cool to make it like this. This is less static, but I thought it was nice like this in this in this track. What I also recommend is, for example, I had here in the break. Okay, I had the this patch, so I recommend to when you go when you pass through when you go to the build up, don't don't put out a lot of things because the transition won't be really nice. The transition, I think, in my opinion, have to be really smooth so if I have here the pads I put here the pads. I I didn't put this up because I in the build up I don't like to put this up. So yeah I just put here the pads. And the volume goes down. Also in this arp I use it. Why this? Because when I'm going to the drop, so uh, in the drop, these parts and these are are not present. So I prefer to to put them out in the build up like this, like really smooth with the volume. So it's like you don't notice the 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 parts are going and the arp is going. Also, a good thing, a th well, a thing you can do. For example, this is the the melody in the blocks. Okay, so for the build, I took the first note, and I made here uh, a loop. Okay, it's just like this. Okay, but I thought it was really static to do it like this, so I put. I'm going to show you this to you. This with this plugin, the glit, the blue glitch, you can put some effects, and I take the this, the first one, the tape stop. So 
it was like this okay it's like it, it goes down and I thought it was really cool and also I put the the same look with the with the lids and also the same effect but here in the lids the thing is if you look in the automation I don't know where are the lid automation I, th I have I think too many automation for the track like this yeah here lids and these special effects also for the lids so yeah everything for example on the plugs okay goes down in the in the pads in the piano it goes down in the RP it also goes down but what you have in the drop are the leads so I prefer to put the leads going up not too much because I I want the really high end of the leads to just um, just to exp like explode in the drop if you look in the in the break they don't go up also not to the top so in the in the build up I made the same thing okay and now I put it down because I have here some I have here uh, well I leave it like like this like to this thing here and I put here asylum but, but I wanted to to have the reverse of, of things and, and yeah so yeah well I, I just put some of the vocal I use it this is the vocal also and the FX you, you should use FX like this for example white noise and, and risers and plugs going up everything in the build up has to go up you know because uh, well the names say the build up so you have to go up with anything you can you can imagine you know for example I like to use white noise some some loops with the I I recorded the the lead with lot of reverb and then I reversed it to make this thing also with white noise and I put a sub a sub bass but in a higher note and I make it go up so it also makes it going up and a uh, cool thing you can use in I usually use in the in the snare loop is to m use a pitch and bolt I here in this track I just I just use it with uh, with this vocal loop I made so it is really interesting and now well this you can make uh, the build up like like you want you know you this is just your imagination and a cool f well a thing I, I use in the in the master for the build ups is I put a, a reverb uh, this one I use Valhalla the S1 from waves filter and just a, an automate a volume controller so what I do is if you look here in this filter oh no, to touch. <coughs> what I do in the build up is from a point sometimes from the beginning of the build up sometimes in the middle I start cutting the bass and increasing the highs so when the drop comes the bass comes back so it comes harder you know it was like oh there is no bass and boom there is all the bass also I do things like this with the reverb if you look here in the middle thing yeah in the middle I start increasing the mix of, of this reverb so everything goes to the background and then it comes to the drop you know everything is in the background then in the drop is back in, in your face so it hits harder and also with this what I do is to make it really narrow well not really I put it ev everything in the center okay you see it goes it makes it narrow 
and then when the drop comes I put it back at, at the normal point so everything was in the center and now it's in the side so it hits all the ha also harder and the last thing just a tricky thing is to use a con uh, bowling controller I sometimes do this in the master and sometimes do this in the truck I don't I don't even care <coughs> and is to to reduce a bit the volume and this is not really noticeable you know you don't really hear this difference but then when the drop comes it's it, it hits harder because it has maybe one or two dB more than before but if you listen to a track you don't really you don't really can say oh the volume is going down no so yeah this is mainly the things I use for the build up just some filters, some reverse to make it go to the background, make it to the center, and then when the drop comes, the bass comes back, everything comes to the, your face in front of you and to the sides. So yeah, you have to think in, in things like this to make like, mm, I don't know how to say it make it different here from here so when a drop comes everything is explodes you know for example uh, you could use also I don't really like the, this but to cut the highs of the build up more in this area for example so then when drop comes ev all the heights come back this in and this creates a lot of energy for the drop so yeah if you I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions you can comment in the com you can put a comment in the, in the section below and if you want a tutorial a one kind of tutorial you also can ask me and I can if I can I will make a video so yeah I say goodbye playing the this part of the track I'm playing this part of the track and I remember you that if you like it you can download it for free in my SoundCloud page, the SoundCloud page, the page is in the in the description below. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, may see you soon.